Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me again. I wanted to read something to you that deals with something we all struggle with, and that's troubles. In uh, the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 3, it says something that really kind of chaps my hide in a way, and then when I came to understand it, I began to see this is a real help. It says, not only that, we glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. The first part of it says, we glory in tribulations. That really sounds strange to, to me at first passing. You know, when you first read it, you say, who in the world glories when you're going through tribulations? I mean, great troubles in life. Uh, if the troubles in life are the focus of your life, you won't glory in it. You're going to really struggle. But if you begin to understand that when you go through trials in life, it's an opportunity for you to grow stronger. It's like this. If you don't lift weights, your arms won't grow, muscles won't grow stronger. If you're lifting weights, they'll grow stronger. If you're pressing against something that is immovable and you press and press, your legs will get stronger, your lungs and heart will get stronger because you're exercising. When you go through troubles in life, it says glory in it because it produces perseverance. This means you learn through the experiences of life to keep on keeping on, even when things appear to be hopeless and when it appears like it's really challenging and difficult, you really get stronger when you realize if I keep on keeping on and endure, I'll get through this. We will get through this, especially together. And it says uh, perseverance produces character. You know, the people that I've known in my life who are people I look up to, who are strong, who keep on keeping on no matter what's going on, who have developed strong character and virtue in their life, are not people who've had an easy life. They're people who have prevailed. They've gone on and succeeded in spite of the struggles and troubles and the burdens that they've had to carry in life because they've grown stronger and stronger in their personal life. And then it says, character develops hope. We need hope. If we don't have hope, we can't make it when the troubles come. If we don't have hope, we feel like giving up. But when you have hope in your life, and Jesus Christ is our hope, it will never disappoint. It says, because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts. The love of God was demonstrated when God gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for you and for me. Jesus came. He died. He demonstrated his love for you and me in that he took our sin and died for us so that we could be forgiven and have eternal life. Jesus did that for us to demonstrate his love. If that doesn't give you hope and encouragement, then you need to come and talk to me. Make an appointment. I'd love to visit with you about that, listen to you, and then pray with you and encourage you. The love of God has been poured out in my life. Has the love of God been poured out into your life? If it has, you know what I'm talking about. If you're struggling here, you really need some help in this area, please give me a call. Come and see me. I'd love to talk with you about it and encourage you. God bless you. God loves you and so do I.